All right, gearheads unite. I'm gonna introduce you to the Rogue ST Triple Diamond LS. It's a tour head, but what makes it so unique? Why do the tour players love this head so much? Well, I'm gonna show you. We'll see how this thing flies. Let's go hit some balls. Welcome to the world of wonder. Let the games begin. Oh, this thing's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun to hit. This is Mr. Phil Mickelson. Phil, it's nice to meet you. I know a lot about your bag. How much do you know about your own? Not as much as you. Hey, that's a good reason to put an iron in your bag. There's so much that goes into a just in the golf club. You see that? Okay, so we got the Tour Special Triple Diamond LS. Jason Felicitas, what do you notice about the Triple Diamond heads in general? So typically this is gonna be for the player that wants to see it move to the right and a little bit more fade bias there. Okay. Also typically a player like that also wants to reduce the spin because those fades typically spin more. So reducing the spin, give you the same ball speed distance that you're looking for, but letting it fall more to the right side. Okay, so we already did our baseline in the first video. We're gonna pop those numbers up on the screen of my gamer driver. For everybody that asked me in the Friday Q&As about what's the most fade bias Callaway driver, it's this one. So this one's set up exactly like my Gamer, because that's what my Gamer is, just the epic speed version. I'm excited to hit this one. So we're gonna do it, here's the five shots. We're gonna hit one stock, a draw, a fade, and a couple of bombs. Okay, hit that one good. Love that one. I like the launch, look at the launch on that thing. That thing got up there, didn't it? Yeah, it looks like it was close to 15 and a half degrees on that one. Okay, so we got the stock one down. Let's hit a draw. Even though that one draw a little bit, let's see if I can hit kind of a, a more of a draw. Okay? I like that one. So did I. So this is the thing about all these drivers so far since we've been testing them. That was thin, it got up, and it didn't overspin. Correct, yeah. I'm digging that. I'm into that. Okay, let's see if we can hit a little cutter. I gotta really think my way through this shot because God knows I can't hit a fade, but one of these days I will. Woo! I like that one. It's kind of a pull Great cutter. Right there. How are the numbers on that one? Numbers look really good. 157 ball speed, uh, 2,500 on the spin. So didn't see it ramp up as much even as we saw with the LS driver. No. So that's great. A little bit out of the heel too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And all three of those shots, pretty straight. Yeah, I'll take that dispersion, right? They're all 100%. pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the way this thing looks. This has got a little bit different shape than the other heads of the Rogue ST Max. Kind of a tour shape, we'll call it. All right, Jay, I'm gonna try and hit one hard. We gotta hit that 160 again. Sounds good. That was bombed. I like to see that, a little, little fall to the right. Look at that thing. Okay. There's your 160 ball. Yeah, boy. 2,500, I love it. All right, let's see if we can, I'm gonna do something stupid here, folks. I'm gonna try and hit this one as hard, like literally as hard as I can. I'm actually gonna line up and try to hit it. All right, here we go. Wide stance, see if I can actually turn my shoulders. Triple diamond LS, last ball. I'm gonna try and crank on one. Love that. Just a big high. How's that one? Solid strike there. Ball speed was up at 160, okay. 2100 on the backspin, 15 degrees of launch, right in the sweet spot for where you like to see it. So we had Rogue ST Max, ST Max D, the LS, and the Triple Diamond. Of the four heads, what's the best one for me? Based on what we were seeing that you tend to see a slightly turn the ball over, I really like this last driver, the Triple Diamond LS for you. Okay, Rogue ST Max Triple Diamond LS. It's the most fade bias driver that we have. It's the lowest spin profile that we have. It's for your better player, your amateur, or somebody that hits a right to left shot that's looking to neutralize a draw. I hope that was all informative for you, but if you want all the information, go to CallawayGolf.com, World of Wonder. I'm stoked on these drivers, I'm stoked. Johnny Wonder, we're out of here.